You are watching a video made for sharpresources.com, the website which brings you design and technology resources for pupils and teachers alike. We specialize in PowerPoint presentations, tutorial videos, interactive flash videos, as well as custom resources. Enjoy the video. During this video you will be introduced to different types of pictorial drawings that we use in graphic communication. You will be looking at the rules and the differences between these types of drawings. In this video, you will be introduced to pictorial drawings. The first we'll be looking at will be isometric. Then we will take a look at planimetric drawings. Next will be oblique drawings. And finally we will look at different types of perspective drawings. We will then look at tips for identifying these drawings in exams. And to finish off we will have a quiz on identification. Before watching these videos you should have tackled these topics. Now it's time to help identify the differences and the rules that separate them. Pictorial drawings are created to show the viewer exactly how something should look or as close as possible to exactly how something does look. The subject of the drawing can be just about anything and although this will affect what type of uh, pictorial drawing you wish to use, what's more important is what it is you're trying to get across to the viewer. So if you were showing an object that you wanted to be, to be built by somebody, then you might go for one of the more technically accurate pictorial drawings. However, if you're wanting to sell what it was that you're showing, then you would probably want to go for something that is more visually striking and is more accurate to what would be seen uh, when looking at the object from a particular distance away. So, pictorial drawing is basically attempting to represent something as if it was a picture, as if it was a photograph of that object. And that's exactly what the drawer and the designer has attempted to do in the example shown here. The first type of pictorial drawing we're going to look at is isometric. Isometric is the most common of technically accurate pictorial drawings and it is most likely to show uh, a certain level of technical detail and uh, is very common in engineering, architecture and other industries like that. What we're going to do is take a look at the rules and to do this we're going to use the CD rack up in the right hand corner as our example. The rules that we follow for isometric are actually fairly simple. First of all, the lines that would usually be horizontal are no longer horizontal and are in fact taken back at 30 degrees. Although this is the case, isometric does not require foreshortening. That means we don't have to change any of the sizes of these horizontal lines. So this size here is the true length, just as this length going back here. But it still looks visually correct. That gives us our first two rules. Horizontal lines are drawn at 30 degrees to the horizontal and all horizontal and vertical lines are drawn at the correct size. It should also be noted at this point that curved lines and angled lines are not only not only incorrect size but they're also distorted and that's not really surprising considering we've got faces moving away from us. So there are specific techniques for these and they get covered in the introduction to videos. To start drawing this CD rack we would have to begin with the crate. This instantly illustrates to us another rule about isometric and that is that the focus of the drawing is, a, is an edge, the front edge here. Or said another way, an edge between the elevation and end elevation faces the viewer. So knowing that the sizes are all correct it would be quite easy at this point to find the position of certain parts. For instance to find the position of this rail at the back we'd measure along here and then measure down here and then we'd be able to find that position and it would just be a, a line going back at 30 degrees. But let me remind you that angled lines and curved lines like this one have to be drawn using particular techniques. And there we have it, the four main rules of isometric drawing. You'd be well advised to take a note of these down. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out the others available at sharpresources.com.